Hello everyone, welcome to this little introduction on operating Mirador 2, German Instruments' latest Impact Echo software. My name is Daniel Algernon. I developed Mirador 2 to provide engineers and field testing practitioners with the tools that use the strengths of Impact Echo and make it a three-dimensional volumetric scanning method. These techniques are based on the great research work conducted and published by research institutes, especially based on the work done by BAM, the Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing in Berlin, Germany. Mirador 2 implements inspection and visualization techniques, merges them with imported picture material and combines everything in one user-friendly and affordable tool. A full analysis report can also be created in the program itself, but also loaded into Microsoft products for further editing if needed. The user interface of Mirador 2 was designed to be equally suitable for touchscreen as well as regular laptop or desktop application. The scan module is the heart of Mirador 2. That's where the entire scanning and analysis takes place. It's complemented by additional utility programs, especially the spot check module, which allows collection and analysis of individual waveforms. To give you an idea of the basic principles of Mirador 2 and its user interface, let's get just a short introduction on data analysis with the scan module. So let's select the scan module from the main menu and open the first data set collected on a test block with six areas where delamination was simulated. Data is loaded and we'll get to work on the thickness plot. This plot is obtained from the dominant frequency within a gate and calculating the corresponding thickness from it. In the histogram, we see the block thickness clearly indicated at around 300 millimeters. Now that we know what we're focusing on, let's narrow the gate to exclude outliers, but still cover the thickness and especially the apparently increased thickness indication due to flexural vibration, which indicates the delamination. With the gate adjusted, go back to the thickness plot and the six delaminated areas can already be identified. Before anything else, let's take a look at the overlay function, the ultimate link between the data and the structure. Reference knots are defined in the picture as the basis for the overlay and there you go. The overlay is updated automatically with the analysis. We can still find it just the color scale, for example, using the contrast and color shift feature and especially to focus on the big picture, apply smoothing. A very intuitive way of navigating through the data is to simply click at a certain position in the scan grid or the 2D depth plot. It pulls up the related waveform and spectrum for detailed analysis. Tomographic images such as BC and D scans can be seen as sectional views on the process data volume, revealing the entire frequency content. A B projection image shows a vertical slice along the X axis, a D projection along the y-axis and finally a C projection shows a horizontal slice parallel to the scan surface. Here in this case we can clearly identify the thickness indication as well as the six delaminated areas indicated as a drop in frequency or greater thickness respectively. Tender duct inspection, in terms of detecting ungrounded portions in a metallic duct, is rated just as challenging as it is relevant. It can be a very complex task. To demonstrate the principle how an empty portion of a duct can generally be distinguished from a properly grounded one, data was collected on this test block. Half of the duct is grounded, the other half is empty. There is also an area of reduced thickness at the side of the block. The data was collected using a microphone to demonstrate the applicability of a contactless sensor. This has big advantages with regard to surface condition and measurement speed. However, microphone specific effects require either additional signal processing or simple gate adjustment. So let's go with that. To get a clear idea of what we're analyzing, pictures have been imported to provide overlays. Remember. The empty portion of the duct in this picture is the lower half, the upper half is grouted.
Looking at the freaking spectrum already gives us a rough idea what the gauge should be. This is the solid thickness indication at around 200 millimeters. Since the grout analysis will be based on the drop in frequency in general and not depth specific, why not change to frequency axis instead of depth? Knowing that it's the frequency drop we are interested in, let's bring the upper end of the frequency gate closer to the dominant frequency indication. Adjust the lower end of the gate by just a little. Now, look at the result again. Besides the shallow delamination, we can see the duct indication due to a drop in frequency. See the difference here? The drop is higher for the empty portion than for the filled portion, thus making it possible to identify the empty part which, in an actual structure, would be considered the void. We can still add some fine adjustment and again, to focus on the big picture, apply smoothing. This gives a clear result and all the features can be identified. <laughs>